in. Happy Wednesday. Alicia and I are just chatting. Or tr I'm a few minutes late because we are trading battle, you know, on the front line of featherweight, you know, uh, re uh, refurbishing. <laughs> I make it sound like we're in, we're at war with people to keep these featherweights running. Good Lord, darling, pick a button. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good day today. You you guys had me on my toes on Monday, uh, Monday's show. I so appreciate that. Everybody's questions were amazing. We were talking about um, why is my machine running so slow? That was the topic of conversation. Let me just make sure I'm up on, nope. I have to sneeze and I feel it coming and it's gonna happen really unexpectedly. So I'm just gonna apologize right now. It's gonna be a scene, it's gonna be a scene. Um, oh good, Judy P's on. Hold on friends, I'm coming. All right, I'm going to see everybody's on. Okay, everything's up. Um, let me just, I'm going to add Alicia in and then I'm going to say hi to a bunch of friends. And then we're going to get going with the adjustable hammer. It's attachment Wednesday. Yay. Okay, hold on. Here she is. Yay. Everybody welcome Alicia. <laughs> All right, let me uh, say hi to some friends. And then we are going to uh, have some fun. So let's see. Sunny's over on YouTube. Hi, Sunny. Thanks for joining us. Um, Let's see here. Judy P's on. Linda from Texas. Cindy and Jen. Hi, Jen. Are you watching with mom? From Connecticut, formerly of Michigan. They're visiting family. Becky says, happy Cinco de Mayo. It's, what's the, it's like not happy. What's the, I can't remember. I took French. I didn't take Spanish. Lisa, did you take Spanish? French. Oh, Fel <laughs> Felice. Cinco de Mayo, is that how you say? It? Happy Cinco Something de Mayo. Like that. Yeah. Oh, Reagan says it because Feliz Navidad is happy Merry Christmas. <laughs> I like her thought process. <laughs> Mel's on and Joe. Oh, the birthday wishes have started to roll, Ray. Yeah, it's, it's tomorrow. She's 18, friends. It's Feliz in the day. Oh, oh, yes, it is Felice, she says. Uh, Kim's on. Hi, from North Carolina. Debbie's on from Kentucky. Nancy's on from Lake Stevens. Joanne's from, from Mississippi. Fran is on from Indiana. Hi, Fran. Kathy's on from Colville. Bernadette is on from Canada. Hi, Canada. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, Kim says hello, Alicia. <laughs> hello. She got a hello, too. <laughs> Oh, Becky says hi, Alicia. Jen Jen says hi, hi Alicia. Becky. <laughs> hi, guys. Nisha is on from Texas. Hello. Pam Green's on from Louisiana. Bonnie Pelton's on from Ohio. Lawrence is on from Ohio. Franny's on from Kansas. Holy goodness gracious. Janet Judson. Hi, hi, hi. And Madeline's on from San Diego. Hi, friends. Oh, more Missy's here. Um, sneeze and... <laughs> Sunny, I did not sneeze and toot at the same time. Not on camera anyway. <laughs> this show is going to be just as professional as last week, as I can tell. Hey, we were called, uh, someone told me that we reminded them of Lucy and Ethel. I'll take that. <laughs> hey, I'll take that all day long. <laughs> I'll take that all day long. I love Lucy. I was dead after we got off camera last week. I mean, between the Nigerian jumping on and trying to creep, you know, with my poor ladies and gentlemen, Lawrence, I have not forgotten you're here. And then my machine, there's still a thread's nest underneath my school bell on the shelves. Cause you know what they say about the cobbler's kid shoes? Like my machine still isn't running. Um, and I had some gracious lady, Sandy Reese, offer to take her off of my hands if I could not take care of her. <laughs> Sandy Reese, you're not getting my school bell. <laughs> I had a and nice then, long chat clickety, so he better be up and running this time. Well, I think here's the problem, girl. You were sitting there just bragging about how clickety was bulletproof. Like, it was like, this I don't true. really do karma, but it was totally like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is an accurate statement. 
I think this time my lips are sealed. Nobody's getting any type of like acknowledgement, pat on the back, nothing. <laughs> Hi, everybody over on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. I see Carol and Linda jumped on. Um, okay. Well, um, we are going to be in for some fun today. I thought we'd just kind of back up a couple steps for people who are just joining us. So the, the, the premise of Attachment Wednesdays started with you, Alicia, actually, in Featherweight 38. So um, let me just brag on my buddy here for a minute. Alicia is an amazing uh, colleague and friend and her husband, Stephen, is a wealth of knowledge. And I met her, gosh, like two years ago. I think it's been almost two years. Um, it yeah, because it was because I was home in Kirkland. Yep. Um, and uh, anyway, Alicia is just, she's just fun. Like, I'm kind of bummed we live kind of halfway across the country because I think you and I could really <laughs> burn down the town. But anyway, um, <laughs> so we decided- Road <laughs> we decided to do some collaboration. Um, it was just a good season for me to have some, um, you know, some invited collaborators on the platform. And Alicia is, well, she's just fun. I mean, you guys have all welcomed her with, with open arms. And so she was doing Attachment Wednesdays. And I was like, hey, do you want to come on my platform and talk about the attachments? And we sat there for a few couple, a few weeks, just talking about the really rare ones, which I think was kind of cool because people wouldn't normally see those or even know what the boxes look like to be able to look for them, like at antique stores and stuff. Um, and then I think it was last week we were like, well, why don't we start doing ones that would have normally come with the machines? Because people like myself who are quilters, wouldn't know what this little doodad does um, because all we care about is our quarter inch foot and that's it. So um, anyway, that's kind of where this all originated. And um, <clears throat> yes, yes. All right. So I thought I would mention, because as I went into my spare parts drawer, I noticed that there were two different colors and there's a very distinct, hold on, how do I get this in the camera? There. There's right a there. very distinct right there. reason. <laughs> is this right, Alicia? <laughs> um, why? So this is a this is the chrome. There. This is the chrome one. Uh, this would be predominantly what you would see with your machine and attachments. It uh, is called an adjustable hammer. And then this one is the black right. side piece. So what the black side piece is is in the right before Singer shut down for war efforts uh, to convert the metal making factories into ammunition depots, they made a series of a bunch of like black side parts. Um, they made some black side machines. If you are lucky enough to have a black side machine, this is what they look like. You would have one. It was an accident. Did you not hear this story? I don't think so, but I wanted one. Oh, mine's complete. Oh, I got the black bobbins and everything. I have I have black side bobbins. That's about, and I've got some black side parts. I don't have the machine though. To so we, Andy and I, were doing some um, auction shopping, not eBay, because we we are on some of the bigger auction sites. Which, by the way, for anybody making notes right now, it's not a good deal anymore. It used to be a really good deal to find these machines on auction sites not that way anymore um anyway and it wasn't goodwill but i had we had bidded bidded is that a is that a thing and the machine all we saw was the picture like this we just saw the tail end of the machine and we didn't pay very much for it i literally thought it was going to be a 600 hundred dollar post-war you know flip that i was going to just find it a new home and it showed up at christmas time and I had the flu that year and Andy was in working for the church. He was in ministry. And so the East or Christmas is like the Super Bowl. So you, you can't be sick. So I was literally sequestered to the back bedroom. I wasn't allowed to come out. He couldn't be around me. I couldn't be around him. And so the machine came in and it just sat in the entryway. And he, after like 10 days of tripping over it, he's like, oh my gosh, Darlene, aren't you even going to open this? And he sounded just like that for the record. <laughs> <laughs> He's not watching, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, oh, <laughs> they're like, you have to put Alicia on the top of your list for your next black side. Black sides are very rare. Like, that's not they are. 
quite a unicorn, but it's, it's pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. Someone on YouTube wants us to introduce ourselves real quick. So Alicia, go oh, ahead. I'm Alicia from Featherweight 38. And I like to sew with Darlene because she's a lot of fun. <laughs> Right back at you, babe. And I'm Arlene <laughs> with Featherweight Doctor in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. So we're in Seattle. Alicia's in Dayton, Ohio. And we're Betty's. That's all you need to know. <laughs> so anyway. You can uh, call us Lucy and Ethel, too. We'll be yeah. fine. Can I be Lucy? Because I've always kind of wanted to be a redhead. <laughs> my mom's a redhead. And I, like, if I'm not careful what kind of blonde I put in my hair, it definitely goes more like an orange color. Yeah, that's, but ironically, that's how I am, too. Yeah. Okay. See, there's another thing we have in common. We got so it. anyway, he's tripping over the darn box. And he goes, oh, my gosh, aren't you going to open this? And I'm like, good Lord, you're the one that sequestered me to the back bedroom until I my fever broke. So, honey, why don't you open it? So he gets it open. And all of a sudden, I start hearing from the entryway. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, what the heck is going on out there? And I, he comes, Darlene, Darlene, do you know what this is? And I'm like, a post-war sewing machine that I'm going to sell for $595. He goes, it's a black side. It's a black side. And I'm like, at that point, no one laughed at me. I had no idea what a black side was. I'm like, what's a black side? And then, oh, then he had got to give me the history lesson and everything. So yes, that he told me that, um, that machine would be the very last machine that we'd ever sell. And he also told me that it's his. Does he oh. know how to thread it? No. <laughs> He's going to get far. You know what? We'll put him up on the tutorial for the next week's show. There you go. Oh my gosh. So the other thing that was funny about it was it was a mess when we got, I mean, it was filthy. And my uh, son who now lives in Hawaii was <clears throat> bored one day and he thought it was cool too, because it has that cool black face plate. So he pulled it off the shelf and sat there all afternoon watching a movie and um, watching movies and sitting there with the naphtha, you know, wax on, wax off. The thing shines like a diamond now like cold because he just was so bored. He just sat there, cleaned all of the corrode, you know, all of the grease and oil and the stuck on. It was awesome. It looks great. And it sews really nicely too. <laughs> Is he still bored? Because we can send him a few. I know, right? I know. No, he's never <laughs> bored in Hawaii. I, I, I don't get it. Like <laughs> he goes surfing. He works for a church too. So he has no time to himself, but okay. We digress. Um, Mel says, okay, we have Lucy and Lucy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love those old videos with her. Oh my gosh. She was a comic genius. All right. So I did a little research for our thing today. This is the extent of the research I did. Uh, I've been pulling motors apart all day today. Um, and I found out that this particular... A uh, foot is only good for hemming. It doesn't have any other <laughs> type, uh, like pants or, you know, what, whatever. It, it, that's it. But you can have an adjustable width hem. Like yeah. this. Right. For bigger. Yeah. It's cool. Was Micah going to be joining us? No, actually, I should make Steven do it because when I was sitting here trying to figure this out and yeah. I was like fumbling up, he comes over and goes, Oh, you just put it under here and you, you do this and then you flip it and you do that. And I'm like, is that how he sounded? <laughs> just like that. Just like that. And I'm just like, what? And then he literally pushes me out of the way and was like, like this. And he's literally showing me and I'm like, well, well, well. I need you come sit board. down, sweetheart. <laughs> right. Yeah, you go ahead. Steven, we need you. <laughs> That's funny. But then he'll go, I'm not the sewer. I'm not the sewer. I'm not the sewer. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. So what are we hemming today? Well, we're just going to hem some strips of fabric because I, like you, quilt and yeah. make, you I'm, know, pineapple blocks. And that's oh about Oh my the gosh, that quilt you've been working so. on is divine. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful. 
I appreciate that, but it doesn't require a hem. So. <laughs> No, we need to be nice because the clothing constructors will yell at us. Mel's on here. Mel's a, a clothing constructor. She makes like the most beautiful men's shirts and jackets and stuff. Well, Mel, I might be contacting you because I'm not saying that I don't want to ever make something. I just am not really sure exactly what I would use these things for, which that's my other goal with Attachment Wednesday is to start to utilize them and how you would use them in a project. Yeah. But this one right here, and I say this about all the attachments, that they all require a certain level of practice. And don't be discouraged if you don't get it on the first try. Mm -hmm. Most people aren't going to, and that's with anything. But this one definitely gave me a run for my money. It was not, um, honestly, I would have cho I would choose the bias binder, I think, over this one. Just because, really? yeah, it, it takes a little bit of finagling. And okay. I will say out of all of them, this one is going to take a little bit more practice, but okay. it's not that you can't do it. So don't be discouraged. Definitely pop it out of your little sewing box, stick it on your machine and give it a try for sure. Um, it's just going to require a little bit of practice. Okay. All right. So on this actual attachment, you'll see it's got like these little numbers. It goes yep. one through, I think it's eight. Eight. Yes. Yeah. And from my little owner's manual here, and I do have the book that you have there, but I, for some reason, put it back on my bookshelf way up on top and wasn't going to stand and trip over and fall down because that would be my love. <laughs> but it hems 13 sixteenths of an inch to 15 sixteenths of an inch. But don't ask me how to find that on here with these numbers because it's not labeled. It's labeled one through seven. Yeah, so it's probably just a setup thing, right? Where you have yeah. your your fabric you're going to hem kind of pinned accordingly, and then you just adjust. The, and that's the, exactly what you're going to do. So yeah. this little thumb, I don't know if you can see it. There's yeah, a little thumb see. here. Yeah. You'll adjust the thumb on the number that you want. Right. And then you're going to tighten down the thumb screw. Okay. And that will hold that into place. Otherwise, this, this whole part will start flying all every which way. Okay. So as you can see, there's some different parts here. You've got like this little boot looking thing that kind of hangs down. And when I attach it to the machine, you'll notice that it almost lies flush with the bed. Yes. Okay. So I will actually, I'll just go ahead and put it on my machine. So that way I can actually show you because it's easier to show than it is to talk about. And okay. it just goes on your machine like any other attachment with your typical thumb screw. <clears throat> but I'll show you what I mean by like how it sits flush with the bed. So okay. as you can yeah. see in this, my presser foot's down, presser foot's up. Okay. It literally is touching the bed of the machine. And so what you're really going to end up doing is you're going to take your fabric and you're going to like shimmy it all the way over okay. to this little slot here. But you also want to have it creased over. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to literally, and I will, I will adjust my um, tripod because I can't do it one handed, but okay. you're literally going to fold this over. We're going to shimmy it over here and it's going to butt up against the little fork, I guess is okay. the best way you're going to call it. And then the back of the fabric needs to come out to where it's directly under where your needle hole is going to be. Okay. okay. And again, kind of like what we did with the, um, hemmer foot, the rolling hemmer, you're going to have to hold the fabric on an angle coming out of your machine like this, because okay. if it doesn't stay butted up against the little fork, you're going to lose it. You'll drop the hem and then you're not stitching a hem anymore. Okay. okay. So all those fun little details. So let me see if I can adjust my, turn out the light on this because otherwise it'll glare. Here. Can you see that really well? And uh, your can you get can you take your finger and and drag it in a little bit more on the camera? You know you can drill in a little bit. You can. I think. Do you have an iPhone? Yeah. Yeah. So if you pinch and go from in to out, it'll it'll magnify in. Is it magnifying in? It isn't. But is your finger on the screen? I don't, I don't 
I don't think it'll. It's okay. Oh, I did. That's I... okay. That's okay. We'll just scoot this up like this. Yeah, we can. We can see. Okay. Uh, point there. Perfect. Yep. Boop boop boop. Okay. Better. Good. Don't move. <laughs> Hold your breath. <laughs> Light on or off? Off. 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 Okay. Yeah. Done. <laughs> I'm going to fold this over and I'm literally going to shimmy it underneath here. Okay. And your hand and there is going to be on the inside of the bed, right? Yeah, I will turn it so you can see. So this is step one. I've okay. got it folded oh, yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's going to be underneath the little boot looking thing. Okay. And then you're going to, you're going to work this top portion up into here. Okay. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> that I think is kind of, it's not as easy at first because you really have to work the fabric in there. <laughs> okay. So then once it's in there, it'll look something like this. See that? Yes. So you've I got it curve it's folded under so that way it won't okay it won't okay. stitch a raw edge it's going to be hitting up against this little boot and obviously you want to make sure there's enough fabric for it to actually physically sew okay. on when it comes right. out here so okay. when my presser foot goes down and it just totally unthreaded itself <laughs> and oh we, my gosh, we start so again <laughs> We start again. <laughs> Hold up. Why is it doing that? Oh my gosh. Okay. Mel, Mel says, while well, you're getting that we threaded, I've been all eyeballing for decades. I might have to try this just for fun. Uh, uh, might have to try this just for fun, but her thumb screw is really tight on her um, adjustable hammer. Yeah. Yeah, it, some of the them, one on this one is too, Mel, the silver one I have. Yeah, they are. And make sure that you're turning it the correct direction too. I know that sounds silly, and I, but I was ac accidentally earlier today trying to twist it in the wrong direction and it wasn't going anywhere. Okay. Now that we have this threaded correctly, okay, there we go. All right. So the other tricky part is you got to keep it folded, kind of so curled. Kinda, yep, you got to kind of fold it. And I think that that again, the proper hand formation for doing this probably comes with a lot more experience than just me popping this on there trying to learn it. Yeah. And I think that that's the most difficult portion out of all of it. It's just feeding it into the foot properly. Feeding it in and, and just kind of keeping it, you know what I mean? Oh, look at that. Hey, that looks really good. Yeah. So it nice. does. It creates a nice, beautiful little hem. Yeah, and it's and really again, close to can, the edge. That's great. Yeah. And then you can just adjust this, you know, as, as needed, you know, if you need a larger hem. And the reason why you can open this portion all the way up, I don't know why. Maybe Mel would know, but it's for a larger width hem. So According I don't know what According to the do. book, it said that it could go all the way out to one and three quarter inch hem if you open it up. Yes. What would you use that for, though? Uh, curtains, maybe? I can't think of what would you would need such a wide hem. I didn't think of curtains. curtains That'd be the only because pants curtains. you wouldn't hem at an inch and a no three quarters. Yeah, curtains or window valances, you know, things that you'll just um. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I had a question from um, Jennifer Anderson. She's my new buddy I'm going to hang out with on Friday. Fun. I think she's like the long lost triplet to Denise and I. <laughs> if she told me she had a black lab, seriously, I was going to get super creeped out because we have like the same sewing machine. 
We like all the same fabrics, but she has a small dog. Uh, Kathy Heiss says a tablecloth would be a one and three quarter inch hem. Okay. Oh, and Connie Harder says you would need to press it first. That's a great tip. Yep. And Bernadette said shears, curtains, yes. So like the sheery curtains also. Um, Jennifer Anderson wants to know if there are any other attachments that are good for quilters. So that would obviously be a quarter inch foot, darning foot. Ooh, look at you. Very nice. Quarter inch foot, darning foot, walking foot, all of which we carry. Oh, 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 good girls. Uh, Linda Wood and Pam Green said skirts have a wider hem. Okay, I knew you. Would, I knew someone would pipe pipe up and have a good answer for us here as we're sitting. This is here like laughing. the hive mind, and these girls yes. are, are sharp. Yes. Uh, Mel Mel says in the '60s, lots of dresses came with four inch hems. Baby clothes, especially baptism gowns, definitely wide hem. She says. Okay. And then there also is a blind hemmer, which we both have that attachment, and we'll have to figure that one out for a yeah. future installment. Um, yeah. And bridal veils. Someone said bridal veils. All right. Well, there you go. What are we doing next week? I don't know. What do you want to do? We had a suggestion last week for the, I don't want to Tucker. say. Yeah. Was the it the pin Tucker? Tuck. It was the pin yeah. tuck. That one scares the, the goodness out of me. It has all those long sticky things with the, with the numbers on them and so it scares me just a tiny bit too, but Hey, that's the point of this. That is the point of this yes. to take the fear out of it and to make it fun, fun. Yeah. yeah. And simple. And, you know, I mean, we're not pros. We're not claiming to be pros at using these attachments, but not at get them your box. No, <laughs> not these. So you're getting what you're paying for. <laughs> Oh, Odie says, show pin tuck. Do you have the, I don't have one in front of me. Do you have a pin tuck handy? Don't mind me. I have pajama pants on. Ah, caught. At least you have pants on. <laughs> <laughs> it's 7 p.m. here, guys. <laughs> Look how scary that is, Odie. I'm just getting ready to go out. I have my daughter's birthday dinner. Yeah, you guys are going to give me some of that pineapple upside down cake, right? Oh my gosh, good. it turned out so good. She told yeah. me this morning, mom, you can't make the, the fake one. And I'm like, the fake one? Because there's some easy recipes like on Betty Crocker where you can just use a yellow cake mix and not yeah. do everything from scratch. I was not permitted to use the Betty Crocker recipe. I had to use one from scratch. Well, good girl, Ray, because we make everything from scratch here. So you... You, you, you keep your mom on your toes. Uh, <laughs> is there an attachment for binders? Yes, Jennifer, if you look at some past videos on Attachment okay. Wednesdays, we did the, the bias, the multi-slotted bias binder. So, yes. I'm only pulling that up because I've got it sitting right next to me. Uh, Bernadette wants to know what weight of fabric you can use with the hammer, denim. I would imagine any weight, Bernadette, because if I you can use it on curtains and denim and um like you know like knits for like skirts and stuff i think it would just depend on needle i think you're right too because it doesn't say anything here about not like being able not to, to use, use it. it on something yeah and you have to think when these machines were really going everybody was sewing their own stuff so right. i would assume that you can i like you said I would just change out the needle for the appropriate weight right. of your fabric. Weight, Same with exactly. your thread. Yeah. So you have a new baby around the house. He's not here yet. Oh, you were just visiting with him? I have to visit with him until July. Oh, I thought he was home. Well, if he was home, he'd be right here. I know! I can't wait! You can totally <laughs> join us! So everybody, Alicia lost, like, literally lost her... Phenomenal, par not a parakeet. It was a white faced cockatiel named Cheddars. She, he, she, her wings weren't clipped short enough and she went out an open door and not to be found again. So Alicia's been birdless. And Actually, uh, she went, no, no, no. Husband walked outside with my bird on his shoulders. 
and he got scared because Steven decided to knock icicles off my house and it hit the air conditioning unit, creating a loud noise. Yeah. Didn't hear that part. Okay. Yeah. So, Minor so detail. We love the husband. We love we the love husband. the husband. He felt he honestly he felt really bad. I mean, he was a part of our family. It, oh, it was I know. an honest mistake. And so my heart was literally shattered into a million gazillion different pieces because Cheddar's was my baby. Um, but we now have a new addition named Cheese It. And Cheese It will be joining our hum humble abode sometime in July. And, you couldn't um, venture outside of the cheese <laughs> arena. <laughs> okay. I was like, well, she sucks at naming things. <laughs> <laughs> All my animals are food. My dog's name is Popsicle. My other one's name is Hershey. Cheddar's, now cheese it. The only one who has a slightly normal name is my cat named Mickey. Okay. I'm not allowed to eat, bring cheese its in the house because I will like dive face first into it and not come up for air until the whole bag is gone. And it was kind of cracking me up and not, I think it was kind of at the beginning of COVID. Uh, cheese it came out with a pairing, a wine pairing to the cheese it cracker and I was like heck yes I can't remember the wine but it was kind of hilarious that is funny uh but I, he I wouldn't will have be here for soon. a cheese it normally with a glass of wine but oh Cheeto Judy P said Cheeto <laughs> Mel says if you lived in the deep south you'd be calling your bird cheese whiz <laughs> Cheese whiz. So he might just be a whiz. <laughs> Sandy Martin said, Oh, I love cheddar cheese its white cheddar cheese its That's hilarious. All right, friends. Well, as always, Alicia, you're delightful. <laughs> and I always have so much fun. Last week, after we got off camera with everything that just went wrong, like a parody of errors, my cheeks hurt from laughing so hard. Giving the cheeks a good workout. <laughs> Last week was just that was that was a fun time. Let me oh, tell yeah. you, good time, super professional here at the Featherweight uh, Featherweight Doctor and Featherweight Thirty Eight. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> all right, friends. Um, we'll we'll pick this up again next week on Wednesday with Alicia and the scary pin tuck attachments <laughs> she's like darlene could you give me a little bit easier homework the following week <laughs> like, i had this stubbed in the bottom of the box for a reason it's right we're gonna we're gonna figure yeah. it out we're gonna and, figure it uh, out guys all right i'm sure i'll be posting some pictures later of ray's birthday dinner so stay tuned to social media Happy birthday again, Ray. I hope it's fantastic. Enjoy it. Enjoy what are you making? it all. <laughs> Lord help me. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining us, Leisha. Love you.